fasciitis too in the feet region, but it can be more contracted. So that's why you can also do more of a twist right in the palm area. Okay, for the finger region, some, sometimes that they have like more like trigger finger. Basically, what a trigger finger is it's like tendonitis um, in the tendons. So with that, you can actually do a little pull. You can do a little twist too. See which way is a little bit more restricted. Then just go with the restricted version of that. Or you can even perform two at the same time. Kind of abduct. Okay, so abduction, bringing it away. But again, if it's too sensitive in the area, just be aware of that. And also for the thumb region, especially as a therapist, you can actually kind of hook it. Actually just kind of go around with your thumb here. But this one's just kind of pulling it. So us as therapists, a lot of times we do too much pinching action. So that's the area you need to relax a lot more then. So if you didn't want to do the pinky pinky wrap one like we did before with thumbs, you can actually just hold it like this. So eventually bring it out like that too then. And you can also write in the wrist region, but again, not right directly in the center on the median nerve. So you want to communicate with them, just make sure that there's no discomfort or tingling in the fingers. So you want to kind of separate that. And right here, that's a pronator quadratus region. So it's actually a pronator muscle. So that's where we're kind of trying to separate it right in there. And the palmaris longus actually starts up in the medial epicondyl region and actually goes right down to the palm region. So that's where we're trying to stretch out also for the fascia problems. Okay, so that's with the palm, the finger area. So you can also turn it over. You can also thumb go in one direction the other direction if they're having problems in those areas. Or you can also separate too especially right at the wrist area. But again, make sure you're not putting a lot of pressure right on the carpal region. So you can just do, especially to start with, more of a superficial technique. You can even go up a little bit and separate those areas too. Or again, you can actually have one go up, one go down. So you actually want to test out those areas, see which way is a little bit more restricted, especially if they're having problems in those areas too. So that's for the arm region, the posterior side. Let's go to more of the glute, the leg region.